Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to my Android Crypto. I probably caught a flu, so if you hear me a little bit different, it is because of that, okay? And thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Matic Network Price Prediction and Technical Analysis for today. We are going to have the targets. Matic is actually not interested in going down. You have realized that Matic right here had a minus 21%, followed by another minus 70%. Many people thought that this is over. And then the next day, plus 37%, going back to above 1 USDT. What is Matic has been doing right here? It has been doing insane, right? Look at that right here. Retest of the 200 moving average in the daily frame. So what Malik did is getting above, then we had the huge crash, then holding the line, then getting back again. Amazing stuff from Matic Network. We want to see the next price targets, what we need to do, and let's go and draw our favorite tool, the Fibonacci retracement from the bottom right here back all the way to the top. I'm going to use two scales, the non-logarithmic and the logarithmic scale. In the logarithmic scale, you can see that we got rejected from the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement here, 1.1250 around there. Okay, we got rejected, which is kind of bad until now at least, right? But eventually we are floating between those two numbers, the 1 USDT and the 1.1250. Now, what you need to know is if we close below the 1.02 USDT, we are going back all the way down to the 0.95, maybe down to the 0.87 as well. Why I'm being very cinematic? I'm not being very, I'm just having the support levels first. In the daily scale, you will realize that Matic is going good. At the end of the day, though, we do not have any huge oversold, any huge overbought situation, so we can say that we are going for sure down or upwards. Whenever the risk matrix do not help us, we have the price analysis, the targets, right? So the 1.02 USDT is a very huge support level. The 0.95 USDT is a very huge support level as well. The 0.87 USDT is a very huge support level. But at the end of the day, we have to close below in the 4-hour frame. Now, why did I choose the non-logarithmic scale as well? Because I want to show you that even in the non-logarithmic, we got down from the 0.236 Fibonacci, which sits at 1.16 USDT, which this was bad. For the resistance levels, though, I'm going to have, uh, of course, the 1.12 and 1.16, but at the end of the day, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the Fib from this top down to this bottom. And one very important resistance level for me personally is the 1.1782. Uh, if we can close above this line, we are going to go all the way up to the 1.4673. Yeah, that's right. Closing just above. In the daily frame, I would prefer, but even maybe in the 4-hour frame, should be the case that we are going all the way back down. But going below the 1 USDT, the 1.02, will get Matic a possible crash. And we might be going further down than the 1 USDT to 0.85 and so on. So you have to be extremely careful, especially if we do not make it above this level. We are not going to retest some higher targets. I repeat, this is if we close above in the 4-hour frame or in the daily frame above the 1.1782. 1.4673 is the next resistance level, followed by the 1.5756. Okay, so yeah, we have some nice targets for Matic. At the end of the day, the most important target out of everything is this one right here. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto, and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.